Jeff Nygaard, three-time Olympian, twice on the indoor, once on the beach. MVP of the AVP in 2003, MVP of the NC2A at UCLA twice, as well as an NCAA champion back in 93 and 95. So basically, I've been around volleyball for a little bit. A couple dec, well, almost three decades now. That doesn't sound so good at this end of that. But anyway, today's pro tip, we're gonna talk about setting. And I wanna make a differentiation here between indoor setting and beach setting. And that differentiation is obviously what we call the deep dish. If you try to do the deep dish indoor, you probably get called for it for holding it, sustain, you know, you stop the ball too long, you're, uh, you're in there caressing it way too long, but on the beach, it's a necessary thing to do because on the beach, the rule is no spin. So if I come out and I do this and it comes out with spin, chances are you're gonna get called for that. So you need to perfect a technique, technique which is the setting from the ground up that eliminates a spin such that if I throw a ball like this, it comes out a lot better than it just did. Let's try that again with no spin. Once you can do that, you're gonna be a good setter on the beach. But that starts from the ground up. And when I say the ground up, 90% of people who have what you call bad hands, who throw the ball, chowder the ball, chuck the ball, just not pretty hands, it's not the hands that are the problem. And this is very important to understand. Most of the time, people who have bad hands, their hands are actually good. They just haven't been taught or don't know that if you get your feet there, your hands become good. Let's, uh, let's break that down. Let's make sure we understand on uh, two-person beach, the set is the most important thing. Because you can take a bad pass, make a good set, and you have an attack. Every time, if you can set the ball, especially in transition, if you can set a transition ball and you can score at a high percentage, you're gonna be a tough team to beat. I've seen so many guys, at, guys and girls at the highest level, they'll have somebody scrambling around digging a ton of balls and they can't set a hittable ball off of it. And their guy may dig 10 balls in a rally, but if he doesn't get anything to swing at, you know, that's 10 balls that you've just wasted a lot of energy for nothing. But if on the first one, a good hittable set, the guy comes in, puts the ball away, you've scored, you've got some momentum. Let's talk about where, these, where you start. If I'm a left side player, and I'm talking about setting, that innately means that my partner, the right sider, has passed or is going to pass the ball. Now, I wanna break it down from here. As soon as you identify my partner has the pass, they're getting the first contact, I need to from this point, get out of the slot and start moving to the net. Because, and this is another problem that I've seen way too often is, if I'm setting, more often than not, people will wait here, 15 to 20 feet off the net. And this is a big problem because the play is happening at the net. My partner is not trying to pass the ball 20 feet off the net. He's trying to pass the ball. Ideally, if he's starting here, at this X, he's trying to pass the ball here to the net in front of him, maybe three or four feet off, up and down such that we've compacted the play. You don't want long distance if you can help it. If you can pass the ball here and I'm setting just a couple feet from me, the approach is compact, everything's more dynamic, he has a greater range to hit, we become a better threat for a side out. So what happens, my partner gets the serve, I get out of the slot, I come into a position that's fairly neutral, meaning I don't just sprint to that spot, I wait back here to see where the pass is such that I can continu continually keep the ball, the target, the play, everything in front of me. Another really important aspect of this is if I'm the left side hitter, or left side player, and I'm setting to my right side partner, I need, and this is not a question, this is I need to get my left foot as my le last step. Meaning, if I come in here and I plant with my right foot, I have body mechanic forces saying that I have momentum going this way at the same time I'm trying to set 